duty as a man to father those kids. Like, that's it. That is your mission. And my mission is quantified by the footsteps. I talk about it regularly, the footsteps. I judge my day about how fast the footsteps of my kids are when I'm coming home. Because when I was a kid, the footsteps were super fast running away from the door my father was coming home. I want to make sure those footsteps are fast coming towards the door. The third M in reclaiming your masculinity, the third M of the freak father formula of how to lead as a husband, a father, and a man in today's world, muscles. And this doesn't just mean getting ripped. Yes, you you should be getting ripped. You were meant to be strong and lean. But think about it. When you see someone that's fit, someone that has muscle, someone that's in shape, you know this is someone that values health, that takes care of themselves, that has discipline that has dedication, has focus, is motivated. Someone that gives up ease and comfort. And you should be strong and capable just as a man. You should be strong enough to do manly shit. I can't tell you how many times I've seen the women carrying the heavy shit out of the grocery carts or in, in the stores. It's fucking crazy. But you were built for this. Strength and toughness to be able to endure to lead, to carry the fucking load, to be the buffer to the pain and and hardship, to be the sponge to the pain and hardship, and to endure it with a motherfucking smile. You were meant to have muscles. You were meant to be ripped. You were meant to be in shape and strong and capable and to look the part of a leader, of a man. Don't need to go too much into that muscle section. Like it means just you should be taking care of yourself so that you could take care of other people. Very simple, straightforward one right there. And the same as money. We've done entire episodes on money. We don't need to go much into it. You know the the point. You need to be a provider. You have a duty and obligation to make a a fuck ton of money so that because you never know when emergencies are going to come around. You never know when you're going to need money to help out someone else, help out a, a close friend or a family member, or you're going to have a, a, an, an emergency or a disaster yourself that you need to come up with a, a bunch of money for. Also, money buys freedom. Money buys time. Money buys energy. Money helps create memorable experiences. Now, you can create memorable experiences with that without money, but it sure as fuck helps. People who said money can't buy happiness is probably someone who just never had much motherfucking money. Is that the only way to happiness? No, but if you are having all these other traits that we're talking about as a man and overcoming all the bullshit of what makes a soft and weak man from previous episodes, the money's only going to enhance the fucking awesomeness that you are as a man. And this is how you reclaim the masculinity. And I'll tell you what, one of the biggest things that bring men down when they don't feel themselves, they don't feel like a man is when their money is not there, when they have stress and anxiety and they're going paycheck to paycheck and they don't feel like they're providing. We put so much weight into being a provider and how much money we make as a man over all this other stuff. Think about that. We're talking about meaning and our mission and masculinity and our mindset, but money outweighs almost all those when it comes to men. We, When the money's not there and we're not doing it, we feel like a, a failure and at some point in a little bit way, you should. It is your job to give a good life to your family. Whatever that means to you, whatever, again, you have to look at what these, what is the ideal lifestyle you want to live? It's your job, your duty and obligation to create that lifestyle that you want to create for your family, create those memorable experiences, and a lot of times money is the way to get there and make it happen. Don't need to go a ton of the money. You get the point. The, the fifth M we're going to go into is mission. Your mission, again, is to be on Overwatch, to look out for your people, take care of your people, but also your mission is to take your people along for the ride. We've had entire episodes on a lot of this stuff, but take your people along for the ride as you're progressing, as you're getting better, as you're moving up, as you're working on yourself, you're working on your fitness, you're working on your mindset, your personal development, take your people along for the ride. Your mission is also to look at your calendar and see what percent is personal, what percent is professional. Where are your date night? Where are your personal development time? Where is the you time just for yourself? Where's your morning routine, your nighttime routine? your time with just for your kids. 
That is part of the mission. Part of your mission is to ask yourself, how often am I creating those memorable experiences that that money from the previous M is going to allow me to have? Part of my mission is to, as a father, and to reclaim this masculinity and this freak fatherness is to think, all right, am I teaching my kids how to think for themselves, how to be self-sufficient so I can put myself out of a job? Because again, that was your purpose. A lot of lessons, they say lessons are, are lessons either caught or taught. And they say, well, lessons are caught and not taught. I think lessons are caught and then taught. A lot of times you have to reinforce the lesson to make sure that whoever you're teaching the lesson to understands it and gets it. There's no no reason you can't sometimes teach it after they've caught it. And teaching your people, your family, your, your kids, your team, teach them how to be present. Teach them how to find shit that they like doing, shit that they love. Teach them how to be a good person, how to respond to situations, all the fucked up situations that life's going to throw at them or put them in. Teach them how to respond to that, not freak out and not panic and act like it's the end of the fucking world when it's just a tiny little speed bump. Part of that mission is not acting like you're lost and confused and lacking purpose and down and out and depressed and all this other stuff when you have kids. I can't stand men who have kids that say they're depressed and down and out and, and they can't find their purpose and going through their midlife crisis, but they have fucking kids. What more purpose do you need, motherfucker? Like that is your duty as a man to father those kids. Like that's it. That is your mission. And my mission is quantified by the footsteps. I talk about it regularly, the footsteps. I judge my day about how fast the footsteps of my kids are when I'm coming home. Because when I was a kid, the footsteps were super fast running away from the door my father was coming home. I want to make sure those footsteps are fast coming towards the door. Also, I judge progress as, as a man, as a father, as a leader. I, I judge progress on my mission. Is Am I embarrassed of my previous self? Also, can I whoop my own ass for myself? Can I out-strategize, out-guile, out-maneuver, and out-think my previous self? That is the mission to get better at those every motherfucking day. And the mission is also to create not only average, not only just an average work-life balance, but rather work-life symmetry, work-life fulfillment, satisfaction, and work-life freaking happiness. How about that as a man? We are lacking happiness. We are lacking fun. That is the mission. Because I said it in the previous episode about the American Psychological Association, they said that that traditional masculinity marked by stoicism and, and competitiveness and dominance and aggression is on the whole, they say it's harmful. Conforming to traditional masculinity ideology, they say is, is negatively influencing mental and physical health of men and is the reason for the issues in the fucking world today. When I say it's the actual opposite, I think the fact is The lack of those things is what's causing the world to be all fucked up and sideways like we're living in the upside down and freaking stranger things where shit is all ass backwards. They say masculinity is naturally violent and domineering and toxic, of course, and it's blamed for the problems. Yet the lack of these things is probably the cause of the problems. Claiming male strength is toxic and aggression is dangerous and assertiveness and independence and risk-taking is bad is just fucking stupidity. It's taking away what actual manhood and masculinity is. That's why it's time to reclaim the masculinity with these eight M's, with being this freak father leading as a husband, a father, and a man in today's world. And the mission is, we talk about a lot of statistics, overcoming those statistics of fatherless homes and divorce rates and suicide rates and jail rates of men like that is the mission flipping those fucking numbers on their head and changing the trajectory of those all right the sixth m here is mastery meaning getting better every day as a man we reclaim our masculinity by getting better every day working on yourself work on yourself ridiculously getting obsessed with getting better every day so that you can lead your family and people better so that you can create this legacy that you don't have to wait a lifetime to live. Now, mastery for us and our, our family means co-creating, co-elevating, co-operating, and co-dominating. Doing that together, co-creating, creating together, co-elevating, lifting each other up, 
cooperating, working together instead of against each other, and then co-dominating, dominating together as a team, as a fucking family unit. How about that? Is that toxic? Co-dominating. Also part of mastery means setting the standard, living the standard, and enforcing the standard. But that also means setting, living, and enforcing the boundaries, the roles of the family, the standards, the expectations. Set, live, and enforce. You can't just enforce them as as a man. You need to first properly communicate and set the standards and the boundaries and the roles and the expectations and then live them out as an example so that you earn the right to enforce them. Also part of mastery, how do you get better? You, you manufacture adversity, make things hard, intentionally do hard shit. Again, these are a lot of things we have full episodes on, so you could dive deep into previous episodes. There's just a wealth of information and knowledge and experience in these episodes. And again, lessons are caught and then taught, not one or the other or, or neither. So true freedom, true manhood begins with self-mastery also begins with the subduing of your ego. Yes, self-mastery doesn't mean that you are so selfish. It's subordinating and subduing yourself and your ego. That's self-mastery. So you are better equipped and prepared to show up for your people. And this goes into the seventh M of the freak father and the leading in today's world. So we can reclaim masculinity and it is meaning. And this is what it's all about. How we are, I said it before, we're dependent for our significance on something outside of ourselves. The meaning of life, part, a huge part of the meaning is going to be your family, your kids. Everyone says it, but no one actually fucking lives it. Your purpose, if you have a family, if you have a kids, that should be your purpose. You shouldn't need to be reminded of that. You shouldn't need to be stressing and overwhelmed and, and lacking purpose. Like I asked my son, what do you want to be when you're older? He says, I want to be just like you. My daughter when something happened to me, I strained a bicep and was all injured. I talked about it in a previous episode and my wife was freaking out. My daughter said to her, do you know who you married? Just those two things right there with a son that says, I want to be just like you and a daughter who says, do you know who you married? That is meaning right there. What the fuck else do you need to have be a purpose-driven man in today's world to reclaim the fucking masculinity that is being stripped from men all over the world? Nothing else is needed for me than that right there. Think I give a fuck what some strangers so I don't even know exist say on the internet about me? Fuck no. It's time to get your house in order where those things are being said about you. And it's also part of, of the meaning is and, and, and mastery really is the, the mastermind principle. The, the, it's a force multiplier when you can get a, a different perspective of and you can work together with your spouse. The one person in the world in your, in your life who you actually chose. Imagine being able to work together on not just life, but on business and making money together. We talked about the money before. Like, what a better way than to work together in business than with your spouse? Someone that you can always rely on and trust and don't have to worry about anything else, knowing that you always have that partner and team supporting you. That is a fucking meaning right there. Meaning is also on your deathbed. Who's going to show up to your damn funeral? Who will show up to your funeral or who will be too busy or something came up or too inconvenient? You know, I almost missed my father's funeral because I had a, an event that I was, I was running, the project. And I almost missed the funeral because I was going to miss that event. And at that point, that event was important. So are you living the kind of life where you're going to have a son that's contemplating missing your funeral? I even had one of my sisters was too busy to go to the funeral. Now, not only does that show how important it is for men to lead other men, but also it makes you think, makes you reflect. Am I every day when I go to sleep at night, I am asking myself and I'm reflecting on, did I live a life today of a man whose kids are going to do whatever it takes to show up to his freaking funeral? The meaning of man is the, is the work of pain. Men's work and meaning is in the pain. The work of sacrifice and surrendering of himself for his people, for his family, for his kids. Where you start looking beyond what you want and what you feel like doing. 
and beyond just living for your own desires. And really, it's just giving yourself, part of yourself up until you are completely spent entirely and still giving more after that. That's the fucking meaning. Directing that shit outwards instead of just selfishly for yourself. Directing it towards the future, towards setting up that. We talk about legacy. And we'll dive into that in a second. But giving yourself away so that they will outperform you and you're putting yourself out of a job, like we said earlier. That is your legacy. That meaning is your legacy. Today is your legacy. And then the last M, the eighth M, is motivation. Motivation. We, we talked about the term flame keeper. That flame keeper is the motivator. The one that keeps the flame lit, the fire burning, the fire lit under your people's ass that lights them the fuck up. That shakes them the fuck up and wakes them the fuck up and pushes and pressure them to get better every day. Men need to be around other men that, again, set the standard, that push and pressure them, that hold them accountable to learn from, to test and challenge themselves. And have a brotherhood. The same thing in a family. Needs, needs a father that's going to be that flame keeper. That's going to hold people accountable. It's going to test and challenge them. And keep that fire lit. Keep that fire burning in their heart and their freaking mind. Because the alternative is suffering in silence like a lone freaking wolf. And that flame keeper, that fire is in the father. The fathers are the answer to the evil and the darkness and the griminess and the pain and the suffering in the fucking world and those are the eight m's right there that intersect and lead to a freak father and lead to a legacy that will last and lead to creating a life you don't need a vacation from that lead to creating a legacy that you don't have to wait a lifetime to start living and this is what we do in the freak father alliance if I asked you again, if I asked you to open up your calendar, what percent would be professional? What would be work and business? And what percent would be personal for yourself, for your family, for your kids? And I already know the answer. 95% is going to be professional. Are you being as connected and present as you should be as a father? Are you struggling with finding your purpose in life as a man? Are you struggling with discipline and energy and confidence that's preventing you from taking action that you know you need to take as a freaking man? Men need to be surrounded by like-minded men and mentors and leaders that know what you're going through and, and, and have your back and there to support you and lift you to fuck up and elevate you. Because fathering and leadership is the number one thing needed in this world right now. It's time to step up your freaking game. And this is exactly what we do in the Freak Father Alliance. It's a mentorship, men's mentorship group coaching program that covers everything from mindset to the muscles, to the money, to the mastery, to the meaning, all the M's we just mentioned. So if you're looking for meaning in your life and want to surround yourself with a group of like-minded men who are all striving for greatness, then this Freak Father Alliance is the program for you. This coaching program is designed to help you unlock your full potential and become the best man you are capable of becoming to your fullest potential as a man. It's personal development, fitness, financial success, finding purpose in life, and the, the most awesome part is you're surrounded by a community of like-minded, kick-ass men, just like yourself, that are on the same journey, pushing each other to succeed and holding each other accountable along the way. And so if you want some information about the Freak File Alliance, just send me a message. This is what I created it for, these, these 8Ms, so we could reclaim masculinity and overcome all those reasons why men have become soft that we talked about in the previous section. These eight M's are what the Freak Father Alliance Men's Mentorship Program is all about. This is a, a, it's for men who have a work-life imbalance or lacking purpose and a higher calling as a man and are just looking to start living a life they were created to live, creating your own ideal lifestyle of freedom and fulfillment starting today without continuing to delay or having to sacrifice money or time or freedom or neglecting your family in the process. It's all about learning how to flip the switch and have a no excuses, badass mindset guiding you to adapt, overcome, and destroy the obstacles that are preventing your success as a man in your mindset, your family, your fitness, and your business so you can stop being a little bitch, get your shit together, and start living life on your own freaking terms while you create your personal ideal freak freedom lifestyle. That's what the Freak Follow Alliance is about. So if you want information about that, Send me a message. It's where I help entrepreneur fathers and men develop a no excuses mindset so they can build more muscle, make more money, have more meaning so they can attack their mission to create their ideal lifestyle 
with time freedom for their families. To boil it all down into one sentence, it would be the Free File Alliance will help you create a lifestyle you don't need a vacation from. And to build a legacy, you don't have to wait a lifetime to start living. So send me a message down below. I want to hear what other ways are you reclaiming your masculinity in the world? What other ways have you seen from the previous episodes that are making men weak and soft? Put it down in the comments below and also send me a private message or just, just send me a, a, a comment down below if you want some information about the Free File Alliance. We can get you onboarded and set up right now, starting today, so you can start living that life you don't need a vacation from and creating the legacy you don't have to wait a lifetime to live. I will see you on the next episode in case no one told you yet today, as long as you're living as a freak father, you are fucking awesome. No excuses.